Hi, my name is Chris Morton. I'm a poet from Lincoln Southeast High School. This poem is called The Paradigm of a Shell Shock New Kid, AKA Soda. I have reoccurring memories of greener trees in Hennessy. To me it was yesterday, but in reality it was two years ago. So I hear and I know and I appear to be almost consecutively stuck in the past as if Connecticut were my heroine. Relapse and I'm back to a parallax between ice cream and isolation. I mean, I love Connecticut, but at the same time, I hate it. The last 365 days when gave my granny a brain aneurysm, you get me? On track to halfway across the country. Each month means like I'm gonna miss you, but at the same time, I'm among mixed company. Mixing months and imagine me afflicted with insanity, coexist amongst the beasts and three snakes. Imagine hateful as an inborn character trait carried with me and of late, I justify that hate with a brief synopsis. Connecticut is better, but I hate it. I'm indebted and it raised me and it hates me and it's driven me crazy, but it's given me everything. They say home is where the heart is, so go ahead and call me heartless. Post haste exodus from Connecticut, scorched earth on route to the exit, but now it's cornfields, not canopies. Amber waves, not the greenest trees, because I'm not quite where I want to be, and yet honestly, I can't go back. I can't go home and nobody, nobody knows. Nobody knows what it feels like to be alone. To be alone in your own home, but the house is not your home. The chair is not your throne, and these people, they're not your own. Those who are no longer friends, but festering scars like broken toy cars, childhood friends, who have seen their eyes swirl, don't pretend. But I do. I pretend it's a sad to see song to sing. I pretend nothing's wrong and everything's okay. So when you call me, it's midnight, so I'm salty and you're drunk. A friendship faulty and yet not. And I hate Nebraska and I'd come home faster, but if I told you the past six days of laughter have to be at least equivalent to my last six days in CT, you'd say I'm crazy, right? To alienate my old life, my whole life? But I have a hole in this quote-unquote whole life that is a hole tight between two groups, two states, and eternally I rate disposition or a three-day transition from a place that you love to a hick's paradise. I'm scared and you feel like nobody's there and like nobody cares and I suppose it's like a juxtapose, a give and a take, a love and a hate, or high school experience negated and I hate it like days came and went or the price of a high school year. Same as an unblinked tear and I'm bitter. Bitter as tricks, bars, and no sugar, and new cars and old friends. The most bitter of all is the realization that there's nothing left for me there. I get back and it's either old memories or blank stares and reoccurring nightmares of home. My old friend's aspirations are getting drunk and aggravated at me. And Benji's far gone on his own high school odyssey, and I couldn't come along. And Asha and Kevin have moved on, and remember he's just that. A memory. And it hurts the most when it feels like that's all I've left.